Ugh. See, it runs away. And actually, if you burn it, if you burn off the oils, it's even more. But now, of course, you want to see real levitation. The and so the real levitation is pyrolytic graphite. So here is your aromaticity. So here is what diamagnetic anisotropy means. That I can have something, room temperature, by the way, no nanomaterial. And, oops, hold on, let me line them up. They have to be flat. Levitating. Okay. Wow. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay, shake, 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 and then it doesn't. And go. it's also, but it's trapped by the quadrupole. Because if you try to put it on top, it floats away, mm. right? And where is my lid? You can even use smaller magnets. So this is more like a levitating train idea, smaller magnets. And then, see, it slides off, it's friction. You can try yeah. it. You can push it with your own finger okay. that it's levitating. Yeah. But because the field is a lot more complex, there is no stable a, point. So it like really wants to float. Yeah, frictionless, yeah. Frictionless. With yeah. no loss of power. So yeah. when we say that there is an aromatic current, yeah. that Ooh. current has zero resistance. That's what aromatic is. And so here is what the field looks like. Oh, no, right? Yeah. It's just north south, north south, north south. Mm. And here it's a more simple quadruple, mm. like four poles. And by the way, this is a d-orbital. That's what a d-orbital is, right? That's right. Mm. <laughs> right? So, cool. yeah. Oh, yeah. And here actually, you cannot see the dimples as much because when you have many north south, north south, the magnetic field lines are close to the surface so even with a smaller magnet you can have a strong force but it doesn't penetrate far right so in fact if you're going to make a levitating train it's going to be disassembly with many small ones rather than big one that penetrate into the cabinet like you want to keep it where it matters so these are friction nuts yeah, yeah.